Hi, I'm Don Braid from the Herald. Premier Notley's got a big fight on her hands, and it's not even in Alberta, it's in B.C. Because in B.C., where the election campaign has just started uh, for the election on May the 9th, the NDP adamantly opposes the Kinder Morgan pipeline. There's a very good chance in B.C. that the NDP could be part of a minority government, the leading party in a minority government, with the support of the Green Party, which is sitting at 19% over there, pretty darn good for them. There's something going on there. If that happens, uh, the pipeline is pretty well gone because John Horgan, the leader of the NDP, his environment critic said just the other day that if John Horgan becomes the Premier of B.C., his first phone call will be to Prime Minister Trudeau to tell him that B.C. no longer approves the Kinder Morgan pipeline. So we could be looking at years uh, of delay uh, until the federal government finally worked up the nerve to push the thing through if it ever did. Now, what does Notley do? Well, she says to her political staff, people like John Heaney, people like Jim Gorkowski, others, they cannot go over there to campaign for the NDP. That's pretty obvious. It would look pretty ridiculous if people who work in Notley's government pushing the pipeline went over there to help the people who are against the pipeline. So it's a small gesture, but something she clearly had to do. It's certainly not enough. Now, my view is that she should get herself over there and fight in this campaign, even though it would be kind of unusual and not popular in some quarters, but go over there as a new Democrat and say, we need this pipeline, Canada needs this pipeline. She's all under attack all the time from other premiers now, from Brad Wall, Christy Clark in BC has attacked her. There's no more of this nicey-nicey cross-border stuff in Western Canada, so she might as well fight.